the digestive system. The digestive system. It is responsible for extracting nutrients and other useful substances from the food we eat. The digestive system is composed of the digestive tract, fat where the food goes inside the body, and accessory organs that play important roles in the digestion. Digestion It is a process by which food is changed into simpler form after it was eaten. Two types of digestion, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion, physical breakdown of food by chewing, tearing, grinding, mashing, and mixing. Chemical digestion, action of enzymes such as saliva and acids. Enzymatic reactions to improve digestion of the following such as carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. The gastrointestinal GI tract or the digestive tract. Tube within a tube. It is direct link path between organs. The gastrointestinal GI tract or the digestive tract structure. Mouth. Esophagus. Stomach. Small intestine, large intestine, and the rectum and anus. Mouth. It receives the food we eat. Inside the mouth are the tongue and teeth where food is cut and broken down into smaller pieces by teeth, saliva, and tongue. It mechanically breaks down food into small pieces. Tongue mixes food with saliva contains amylase which helps break down starch. Epiglottis is a flap-like structure at the back of the throat that closes over the trachea, preventing food from entering it. Esophagus This is where food travels through peristalsis going to the stomach. Peristalsis is the rhythmic and wave-like contractions of the esophagus. The chewed food is now called bolus. Esophagus secretes mucus, a strange fluid. It is approximately 10 inches long. Stomach, J-shaped muscular bag that stores the food we eat, breaks it down into small pieces. This is where food is digested through the aid of the gastric juice and peristalsis until it becomes thick, soupy mixtures. The bolus or the food now is referred as chyme, which mixed with chemical substances. Mixes food with the digestive juices that contain enzymes to break down proteins and lipids. Acid in the stomach kills bacteria. Small intestine. This is where final digestion takes place through the digestive juices from the liver and pancreas until it becomes a thin soluble substance that passes through the villi. Villi. These are finger-like projections in the lining of the intestine walls that absorbs the nutrients and useful substances from the food we eat. It is roughly 7 meters long. Large intestine. This is where undigested food stays temporarily and is eliminated through the anus. It is about 5 feet long. It accepts what small intestine don't absorb. Absorption of water takes place here. Rectum and anus. 
Angels. It provides as temporary storage for the feces, waste materials, before they expelled from the body. Rectum, short-term storage which holds before it is expelled through the anus. The accessory organs of the digestive system. These are not parts of the digestive tract, but they play important roles in digestion. They are liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Liver. It directly affects digestion by producing bile. Bile helps digest fats. It filters out toxins and waste including drugs and alcohol. Gallbladder. It stores bile from the liver, releases into the small intestine. Pancreas. It produces digestive enzymes to digest fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. It also regulates blood sugar by producing insulin. Did you know that food drying up and hanging out in the large intestine can last 18 hours to 2 days? Hope you have learned something. Great job. See you on our next lesson. Thank you and goodbye.